Hey guys, it's Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Uh, these lemons and limes have been staring at me for about a week now. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get them washed up and throw them in the dehydrator. So I'm going to let these soak for just a minute and I'll get them rinsed off and we'll get them cut up. So um, I'm just slicing these up. I'm just using my knife. I'm not using my slicer that I have. Just slicing these up, uh, you know, not too thick and not too thin. I'm going to be dropping these into my tea and, you know, hot tea, cold tea. You can make lemonade or whatever. I put these in my freezer before. And if you want to freeze them, you lay them out flat on a tray, put them in the freezer, freeze them, and then pull them out and put them in a plastic baggie. I do that so that, you know, if you freeze them all together, they're going to stick together. So I'm going to dehydrate these. And, um, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer for these thicker pieces, but I do want them somewhat thick for my teas and things like that. So I'm just going to keep on cutting here. So I've got all these ends here, and I'm going to have more after I get them all cut up, but I've put some in my tea already, and I will save these for tonight, you know, so people can have them in their drinks, or maybe if we don't drink, use them, I'll throw them in my freezer. Okay, I'm just going to place these on my dehydrator rack here. I think that they say to dehydrate this, if you can set your temperature at 140, but um, your lemons and limes, they're going to turn like a brown color if you do it too fast. Personally, if I could set my temperature, I probably would set it to like the lowest possible and then just, you know, dehydrate them a little bit longer. Um, you know, the brown color is not that big of a deal. It's not going to change the taste or anything, but, um, you know, just to make them prettier or whatever uh, while you drink your tea or water, then just kind of do it low and slow. I can't set the temperature on mine. Uh, no big deal. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. And it's probably going to take about uh, six to eight hours or something like that. Um, for one thing, it's going to take longer because I've got mine a little bit thicker. Um, so anyway, we'll just go ahead and lay these in here. Don't overlap them. Lay them out kind of, you know, spread apart a little bit. I'm going to finish putting them in my trays. I have four trays and I didn't have enough to cover, you know, completely cover all four of my trays. So I'm going to put the empty one on the bottom just because it heats up a lot faster on the bottom, um, you know, than the rest. I, I end up, like everybody, I'm sure, you end up kind of rotating your trays, you know, from the bottom to the top because the bottom dries out so fast. So I'm just going to put the empty one on the bottom and these are so pretty. I'm just going to set this on here, put my lid on and plug this baby in. in the first place ribbon and I just have to show it off to you guys this is this was um, lemon and oranges and apples and I'm telling you right now you can take one of these out I think this was three years ago you can eat one of these dried apples and it will just be perfect I mean they really will so just I wanted to show you how kind of brown they get this is an orange and do you see how it gets kind of brown but um, it's just beautiful like stained glass isn't it because I wish you could see through the see the light through it. It's just gorgeous. So there's orange and um, the lemons. They didn't so much. I'm not going to pull them out, but the lemons didn't so much turn that brown. So we'll just keep an eye on the ones in the dehydrator. I just wanted to show you that, you guys. Hey hey hey! What's up? Happy St. Patty's Day. Okay, I can't see with those glasses on, <laughs> so I'm going to have to put on the pink ones okay um so these have been dehydrating for uh, approximately seven hours and i'd say that they're pretty good and dried out and ready to go here's a lime and then i know it looks pretty brown um but when i look through it up to the light you it almost just kind of looks like an amber color it looks yellowish um orangish and brownish kind of it's kind of an amber like i said and here's a lemon that one's kind of seedy. Let me see if I can find one that doesn't have as many seeds. Um, so I even think, I think it looks a little bit more brown on camera than it does in person, actually. 
So, but anyway, I'm not worried about that. It's going to taste just fine in my iced tea this summer. Um, like I said before, I would put them in my freezer, um, but I'm going to have to have that freezer space for um, garden season. Gardening, you know, the garden's going to be in full force here shortly, so I'm going to have to have that freezer space um, to preserve my vegetables and things like that. So anyway, um, these are ready to go. Can you hear them? They're dried out and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting these in my jar. I'm going to go ahead and just start dropping these in. And hopefully my jar is going to be big enough. <clears throat> I probably should have just stacked them one on top of each other. They look so pretty. This whole bottom row is lemons here. And I will find an oxygen absorber and throw in there. I have a 300 cc oxygen absorber in the top of this. And I am going to use this lid here. I, this is a, I save all my lids after I pop them off and make sure that the seal is okay or whatever here. So I'm gonna put this on here. That's the one time that I will use, reuse lids is with dry goods. And this, I'm gonna just put this on here. And then that oxygen absorber should, um, you know, suck up all the air and then it'll eventually kind of just seal down. And then this will be, you know, pantry. This will be shelf stable. You can put it in your pantry and just whenever you want some for your drink, you just pull it out and pop it in, close it back up. I have an attachment for my vacuum sealer that you would just put, I've showed it in another video um, also how to do it, but you just put that on top here in your hose, you turn on your vacuum seal and it will suck all of the air out of there and vacuum seal that for you until you know, you're ready to use it. But as of now, I'm just going to use the O2 absorber and the reused lid and then I'm going to put that on there pretty good, pretty tight. And then, like I said, just take it off whenever you're ready for something to have in your tea. So aren't those beautiful? They just turn out so pretty. <laughs> Hope y'all give it a try. God bless, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, I think I got it figured out. You just have to wear them over your glasses. Then you can look cool and be able to see at the same time. So that's what the problem was. Anyway, you guys, cheers. Enjoy your lemon tea. Have a good one, guys. That's good.